Hello, in this tutorial I'll go over how to create a blood splatter slash blood hit effect with decals in Unreal Engine. So when we attack an enemy it will spawn blood particles where they got hit and when these blood particles hit the ground it will spawn decals where they hit the ground. If you're following along you want to go to add new and go to add feature or content pack and add the third person character so that we have a dummy character who we can shoot and showcase this blood particle system with. Okay, Once we have that we want to go to our first person character and we want to go to edit first person character and we're going to be setting up a line trace system so that we shoot a line trace in front of us and if we hit anything we'll make it spawn some blood particles so we want to go to where it says spawn projector and we can just delete this bit and break the link here and just move it a bit down and then what we're going to do after we um, play our fire animation is just drag up here and look for line trace for objects so we're doing a line trace in front of the player. So where this starts, we're going to get our first person camera and get the actor location. So we want to get the world location and plug this into the start. Where this ends, we want to right click and look for get control rotation. So we'll get the rotation of um, the first person character. And then we want to get the forward vector. And then we just want to drag up here and look for multiply vector by float and put a value of something like 700. So we'll be getting 700 units in front of the player. You can make this larger or smaller if you like to. And then from the get world location, we'll just drag up here and look for vector plus vector and connect this into here and connect this into end. And then for the objects that we're looking for, we want to drag up here and go make array. So in my game, I made it so that we're only going to be um, spawning this blood particle system if the object is a pawn. So for object type, just select pawn. And if we just click compile and go draw debug type and go for duration and click compile. I close this and I go to my third person BP blueprints and drag in the third person character. If I click play, if I left click, I'll do a line trace. And as we can see, it will go green when we hit him. So this is where it will spawn the blood particle system. So I'm going to go back to my first person character, go edit first person character. And after we do our line trace for objects, we will drag off here and look for break hit result. And if this return value is true, so we'll drag off here and add a branch. I'll just delete these because they're in the way. So if this return value is um, true and we hit something, then we are going to spawn emitter at location. So where we're going to spawn it, we just want to drag in impact point and plug this into location and the emitter template. So I'm not going to go over how to um, create particles because I um, don't have much experience doing that. Although I've downloaded this um, FX blood VS pack from the Unreal Engine Marketplace and it's really good. It comes with a bunch of um, blood effects so I'm just going to use that so for the emitter I'm just going to select um, blood blood splat 02 and click compile and now I close this and go play if I shoot him we can see it will squirt blood wherever I shoot him so now that we set this up the next step is making it so that when we shoot him and it squirts some blood when this blood hits the ground, it's going to spawn a blood decal where the blood particle hits the ground. So I'll go over how to set that up now. So if we just head back to our first person character, and what you want to do is go to where your particle is. So I'm just going to go, you can click this browse and it also take you to wherever it is. So you want to go to wherever your particle that you're using or when the player is hit. And all you want to do is just right click and you want to go to collision and go actor collision. Then you want to select the actor collision and you want to go to collision and then you want to scroll down and you want to uncheck drop detail and uncheck collide only if visible. Then you want to go right click and go to event and go event generator and select event generator and you want to add elements, go here and under type you want it to be collision and then click save. So we've basically just added some collision to our particles. 
So then off of this spawn emitter allocation, what I'm gonna do is just drag up here and go to uh, bind to event particle collide. So bind event to on particle collide. And then we just wanna drag off this event and look for add custom event and call it when particle collides. So when the particle collides, what we're gonna be doing is spawning a decal where that particle collides. I'm not gonna go over decals. I can make a decal video if you'd like me to, although there are um, quite a lot on YouTube. But uh, decal is basically a material um, which you can place on the floor. So I'm just gonna look for decal because this blood um, pack comes with some decals. So if I just drag this on, we can see this is a decal. And we're basically gonna be spawning this where our blood particles hit. So I'll go back to my um, first person character. So on this event, we're gonna spawn some decals. So off here, we're gonna drag and look for spawn decal at location. So there are some decals in this project already. So I'm just gonna use one of them. So I'll just use decal, blood decal A. And for the decal size, um, what you wanna do, just right click and look for random float in range. And I found a range of 20 to 30 is good. <clears throat> and you just wanna plug this into decal size. So now the decal size will be a random size between those values. Then for the location, we just wanna plug this into location. And then rotation, we just wanna plug in normal. And now if I click compile, close this and go play. And if I shoot him and the blood um, hits the floor, it will spawn a decal there. So as you can see, it spawned some decals there. We can also go back here and make the decal have a lifetime. So I think it has only like 10 seconds. And also just a tip for decals. Um, so this may be happen in any project. I found that the decal doesn't like um, look very clear. If your decals aren't looking very clear, what you wanna do is just go to them, go to the material which has the decal. And under decal blend mode, just change it to be debuffer, translucent, color, normal roughness. And that'll just make your decal look a bit clearer because I was having an issue with that. So that tip just makes the decals look a bit clearer. So now I hit play, if I shoot my guy, or spawn the blood particle and then when they hit the floor it'll spawn some decals where they landed so then there is one more um, system i want to show you and that is how to set up the blood pool so the blood pool is something that comes with this vx um fx pack it's really good this it really comes with a bunch of blood um, features so to set that up what i did is we want to select your character which the player will be able to damage in the game i just want to right click and go event any damage so i'm just going to make a very simple damage system in this tutorial and event any damage we're just going to drag up here but for do once and then what we want to do is just drag in our capsule component and set the collision to be um physics only this will just make it so that we can't um, shoot the player anymore and spawn blood particles and then what we're going to do is just drag up here and play animation montage so if you have a montage for your character dying you just select it so I'll just quickly go over how the process of setting, setting up an animation montage if you've not done that but if you've not um, you can just skip forward I'll add timestamps in this video so I'll just go to my um, third person character I imported this um, third person character dying animation so I'll just Right click on the animation create and create animation montage and in order to use animation montages we need to go to your character's animation blueprint and we just want to click default go to the animation graph I drag up here and look for default slot and that will just enable us so that we can play animation montages and we'll click on bar another thing with animation montages is after the animation montage has played, it will just make the character go back to his normal animation state. If you don't want that to happen, for example, for something like a death animation, you wanna to go to the asset details and go enable auto blend out. So when it places animation montage, the player will basically stay in this last frame. 
if this was checked then he just go back to what his normal animation blueprint is saying so here I'm gonna select the first person assassin die and then after this animation montage was played we're gonna have a delay and then we are going to spawn actor from class and if I just close this and we go to the FX files blood pack and look for blood pool we'll see this BP blood pool master and if I just head inside here and select this there are loads of settings we can change but I'll just show how it works so if I just um, drag this in and for the particle system you want to just select some blood one so I'll just select blood flow if I go play We'll see we have this blood pool and it's slowly growing and in here there are a bunch of settings we can change so i can change the speed of it to make it something like two and the blood pool will grow a lot faster so what we're going to do is basically just spawn this blood pool where the character dies so after this animation has finished playing what we're going to do is spawn act from class and we'll spawn the bp blood pool um, master and then plug this into here where we'll spawn it we'll just right click and split the structure and then what i did is i just drag in my mesh drag up here and look for get socket location the socket location i used was from spine underscore zero one plug that into here and go compile and then we can close this Head over to our first person character and make it so that the hit actor, the actor that we hit, we just drag up here and look for apply damage. And the damage is going to be one. And we can plug this into true. And this here, and if we get compile, close this, and now I go play shoot him he dies and we can see his he'll spawn a blood pool so that's basically how i set up a blood system inside my game and that's basically how you can set up a blood system inside of unreal engine that's all it would help me out if you could like and subscribe so this video is shared with more people and i'll see you guys next time bye